the Ukrainian military continues to liquidate Russian soldiers. Over the last day, from November 3rd to 4th, Russians lost 1,300 soldiers at the front. In total, since the beginning of the full-scale war, Russia's losses have exceeded 700,000 soldiers, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine. In total, approximately 700,390 Russian troops have already been killed or wounded in this war. The day before, the defenders shot down 93 Russian operational tactical level drones in the sky. Ukrainian soldiers destroyed 35 enemy artillery systems, 15 armored combat vehicles, 11 tanks, and 1 MLRS of the Russian troops. In addition, Ukrainian fighters destroyed 77 units of motor vehicles and tankers, and 3 units of special equipment. Since the beginning of the full-scale war, the defense forces have also deprived the enemy of 994 air defense systems, shot down 2,629 cruise missiles, 369 aircraft, 329 helicopters, and sunk 28 ships boats and a submarine of the aggressor. As the general staff notes, 169 combat clashes were recorded during the past 24 hours. The number of combat clashes per day in the Kupiansk direction reached 16. The defense forces repelled the attacks of the occupiers in the areas of Golubivka, Sinkivka, Stepova Novoselevka, Kalisnikivka, Berestovo, Zagrizovo, Krugliakivka, Vishnivo, and Pershotrovnivo. In the Lyman direction, our troops stopped nine enemy attacks. The invaders concentrated their main efforts in the areas of the settlements of Grakivka, Turna and Dibrova. The aggressors' aircraft bombarded the areas of Toritsk, Druzba, Petrivka and Dilyivka settlements in the Toritsk direction, and the enemy tried to advance four times in the Toritsk area. 27 attacks, this number over the past day were repelled by our defenders in the Pokrovsky direction. The enemy tried to advance in the vicinity of Myrolubivka, Lasivka, Promeny, Sikoy Yar, Novogradivka, and Vishnivo. Quem falou aqui, amigo? Derrubou não, eu vi. Mas ele penou de um lado. <risos> Será que o morador vai brigar se você não tá na cama? Não, pô. Falou de armazém, tá parado. Ai, tem um micro-ondas aqui novo. Hum? Aqui, achei o celular, mano. Porra, essa é da antiga, hein? Será que esse rádio funciona? Né? Ai, caraca! Meu Deus do céu! Fazer essas incursões é maneiro, mano. 
Tô preocupado só com o campo aberto lá que a gente tem que correr, ó. Olha, é. a gente já tá no... Ô, Neto. Neto tá aí? Não. Não. A gente já tá no raio de ação da artilharia, hein? Sim. Isso aqui foi... Caralho, vamos... Cara... Não, mano, eu falei, se a gente tá escondido, não acerta o drone. Os caras vão saber que a gente tá aqui, vai mandar artilharia. Mas com o drone o cara não escuta, né? Não, e nem é RPV, né, mano? Esse drone ia é só a gente procurar cobertura, cara. E andando e cobertura. Mano, mas se o drone souber que a gente tá aqui, a gente tá na... A gente tá na linha de artilharia. Não, é cobertura e eu tô muito tempo, mano. Qual a direção, cara? É pra frente, pô. Mano, melhor de sentar e dar uma relaxada. Se a gente precisar correr. Outra parada. Mano, outra parada, pelo amor de Deus. Se começar com a artilharia, não sai correndo pra fora, não desesperado não. Vocês vão dar um tempo aí? Tem rádio aí? Tem. Russian security officer Igor Strelkov Girkin, who stood at the origins of the Russian war against Ukraine, called on Russians to prepare for a catastrophe in 2025. In the current situation, he blames the Putin regime and its imitation leadership style, when on paper everything is fine for the Russian Federation, but in reality, it is a disaster. A significant part of our power turned out to be inflated, and now the needs of the war far exceed the capabilities of our military industrial complex and the war has long since eaten up or is eating up all reserves of new weapons, the Russian security officer reported. He also mentioned the disaster with the manpower that the army command is destroying at a rapid pace in Ukraine. He does not share the joy of Kremlin propaganda regarding the advance of the Russian armed forces in Donbass. He claims that there is no collapse of the Ukrainian defense in reality. The letter from Strelkov who is in prison, was published by his associates. According to him, Russia is not capable of winning a decisive victory in the war today and therefore is trying to persuade Kyiv to capitulate, not very successfully. The advance of the Russian armed forces in Donbass will not force Kyiv to capitulate to the aggressor since this is supposedly a secondary front for the Ukrainian side. Very insignificant successes of the Russian army in the Donbass on a strategic scale are tended to be presented by our propaganda as a collapse of the front of the Ukrainian armed forces, Strelkov wrote. At the same time, Z Patriot noted, the Kremlin propagandists ignore the fact that the Russian Federation has no successes in the Kharkov and Kursk directions, and at this time Ukraine is delivering precise and very painful blows to the Russian rear. The enemy has and is saving reserves. Therefore, talking about the imminent collapse of its front due to the loss of several cities and urban-type settlements in the DPR is simply stupid. The enemy has been holding a regional center, the city of Sudza in the Kursk region, on the territory of the old regions for three months, and the Russian armed forces can do nothing about it. So why expect that the Ukrainians will agree to a ceasefire on terms favorable to Moscow? Strelkov wrote. He noted that the front remains in a stable state, which is costing the Russian army enormous losses in manpower and resources. The Czechist expressed confidence that if the situation worsens for the Ukrainian armed forces, the Allies will help Ukraine to level the playing field, in particular with the help of new technological solutions.